For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29.11 Have you ever felt the weight of fear holding you back, making each morning feel like a mountain to climb? That heavy feeling of uncertainty, anxiety or doubt can make even the smallest steps forward feel impossible. But today is different. Today, you're invited to let go of that fear and hold tight to a promise much greater than any worry. God is about to do something amazing in your life. Yes, even when the path seems unclear or when things haven't unfolded as you'd hoped, God is moving. He is preparing a breakthrough, a transformation, and all He asks is that you trust Him just for today to take that first step. Imagine how different today could be if instead of giving in to the old fears or the shadows of yesterday's mistakes, you embraced the certainty that God is in control. He is ready to lead you, comfort you, and reveal to you His greater purpose. When you start your day with this assurance, fear loses its grip. Every worry, every anxious thought starts to fade because you're no longer focused on the what-ifs of this world, but on the unshakable truth that you belong to the Creator of all things, who is both powerful and deeply compassionate. You belong to the One who promises never to leave you even for a moment. When we look at the lives of those in the Bible, like Moses standing before the Red Sea with a whole nation behind him, or David the young shepherd facing the mighty Goliath, one thing becomes clear. They were all called to let go of fear and trust in God's plan. Moses didn't know how the sea would part. David didn't know exactly how he would overcome the giant. But they knew who was with them, and that made all the difference. They trusted that God would make a way where there seemed to be none, and He did. That same promise holds for you today. God wants to use today to bring something new and powerful into your life. Something that draws you closer to His heart and gives you strength you never thought possible. As you begin this day, remember that your fears are not greater than God's plans. Whatever may feel like a giant or an impossible sea in your life, God is capable of moving it. All He asks is that you start this day by placing your trust in Him. Just as He worked through Moses, David and so many others, He is ready to work in your life too. God is not far away. He's closer than your heartbeat, eager to reveal His goodness and power in ways you could never imagine. The truth is, fear often builds walls around our hearts and minds, convincing us that we're alone in our struggles. But these walls can't stand when we declare God's truth over them. They can't stand when we step out of our comfort zones and say, Lord, I may not know what today holds, but I know you hold me. And as you make that declaration today, you're inviting God to step in, to tear down those walls and to bring the breakthrough you've been longing for. Let each moment, each breath today be an opportunity to lean into that truth to invite God's peace into every thought and every decision. Imagine waking up each day knowing that the Creator of the universe has already planned good things for you, that He has strength, wisdom and peace reserved just for you. That's not just a hopeful thought. It's the reality God invites you to live in. When fear tries to creep back in, remember that the same God who created the stars, who parted the seas, who healed the sick and who raised the dead is the same God who is with you right now. His power has not faded and His promises are just as real today as they were thousands of years ago. So let's start today with a simple yet powerful prayer. A prayer that releases fear and embraces trust, that leaves the worries of yesterday behind and welcomes the hope that only God can give. As you pray, let your heart be open, let your mind be still, and let God's presence fill every part of your being. Because today isn't just another day, 
It's a chance to step into the amazing things God has prepared for you, to walk in faith rather than fear, and to watch as God's plans unfold in your life. Let's move forward together, confident that something wonderful is on its way, because with God, nothing is impossible. Have you ever faced a situation that seemed overwhelming, where the path forward felt uncertain and fear whispered that you wouldn't make it? Whether it's the pressure of a job, challenges in a relationship or health issues, life sometimes brings us to the edge of what we think we can bear. Yet the Bible is full of people who faced daunting situations, and God's presence made all the difference. Consider Gideon's story in the book of Judges. Called to lead his people against a powerful enemy, Gideon was fearful, feeling unworthy and weak. But God reduced his army to just 300 men and showed Gideon that, with faith, the size of the obstacle doesn't matter. When fear makes us feel inadequate, Gideon's story reminds us that God's strength fills in where our own abilities fall short, turning even small steps of faith into powerful victories. Sometimes we feel unprepared for what life demands, struggling with a sense of inadequacy. Moses faced a similar feeling when God called him to lead Israel out of Egypt. Moses doubted his ability, pointing out that he was slow of speech, unfit for such a task. Yet God responded, Who gave human beings their mouths? Is it not I, the Lord? Exodus 4.11 This is a powerful truth. When God calls us to something, he also equips us. Like Moses, when we face challenges that seem beyond our capacity, we can remember that God doesn't make mistakes. He chose us specifically, and if we lean into His wisdom rather than our own limitations, we'll find that His strength fills every gap. The next time you feel inadequate, consider that God has already prepared you in ways you might not yet see. Fear of failure or rejection can be paralyzing, especially when stepping out in faith. We see this in Peter's story of walking on water toward Jesus. As he focused on Jesus, Peter did the impossible. He walked on water despite the storm around him. But the moment he looked away and noticed the waves, he began to sink. This moment shows us how our focus can either empower or weaken us. When life feels stormy, fixing our eyes on God instead of the obstacles allows us to move forward in faith. Peter's story is a reminder that faith doesn't mean ignoring reality. It means trusting the one who is greater than the storms around us. By keeping our focus on Jesus, we find courage in situations that once felt overwhelming. There are times when life brings feelings of loneliness and uncertainty about the future. We might wonder if anyone truly sees our struggles. Hagar, a servant in Genesis, felt this deeply as she fled into the desert, overwhelmed by rejection and isolation. But God met her there, assuring her that he saw her pain and had a purpose for her life and her son's future. She called him El Roy, meaning the God who sees me. Genesis 16.13 Hagar's story is a comforting reminder that God is aware of every moment of our journey, even when we feel unseen. In times of loneliness or invisibility, we can remember that God knows every detail of our lives and walks with us through each trial. He not only sees us, but is deeply invested in our story. When life seems to be on pause, and we are left waiting for an answer or a change, it's easy to wonder if God's promises will ever come. Joseph's life teaches us that waiting is not wasted time. After being sold into slavery by his brothers, falsely accused, and left in prison, Joseph endured years of waiting before God's promise for him was fulfilled. But through every season of hardship, God was preparing Joseph for a purpose greater than he could have imagined. This journey from the pit to the palace reminds us that even in delays, God is working. When we feel stuck in a season of waiting, Joseph's story reassures us that God is not only preparing our future, but shaping us to be ready for it. 
Trusting Him through the wait helps us grow and prepares us for the blessings ahead. As you stand at the start of a new day, let your heart be open to the ways God is working in your life, even in the areas that feel uncertain or overwhelming. Take a moment to breathe deeply, releasing any fear or worry that's been holding you back. Remember that God knows your needs, sees every part of your journey, and has already prepared a way forward, even when you can't see it. Allow His peace to settle into your heart, trusting that He is with you in each step, ready to turn every challenge into a testimony of His power and love. Now let's come together in prayer, inviting God's guidance and strength to lead us today. Dear Heavenly Father, as I stand here today, I come before you with an open heart, lifting up every fear, doubt and uncertainty that has tried to take hold of me. You see each worry I carry, each heavy thought that clouds my mind, and I ask for your peace to fill me now. Lord, remind me that I am not alone, that you walk with me in every season and every situation, guiding my steps even when I cannot see the path ahead. Help me, Father, to release my fears into your hands. Just as you called Gideon when he felt small and unsure, I ask for your strength to fill my weaknesses. Let me see myself through your eyes, capable and chosen, so I can step forward with courage. When fear tells me I am not enough, remind me that you are my strength and that with you there is nothing I cannot overcome. Father, I often feel unprepared and inadequate for the challenges before me. Like Moses, I sometimes hesitate, uncertain of my own abilities. But I trust that you have called me to this moment for a reason. Equip me, Lord, with wisdom, patience and resilience. Remind me that you never call me to something without providing the grace and strength to fulfill it. When I feel weak, be my courage. When I feel lost, be my guide. There are times, Lord, when I am paralyzed by the fear of failure. I am afraid to step out in faith, worried about the storms that might come. But just as Peter walked on water by keeping his eyes on you, help me to fix my gaze upon you, steady and unshaken, so that I may move forward even in the midst of the unknown. Teach me to walk by faith and not by sight, to trust that you hold me firmly even when the waves seem high. Let my focus be rooted in your goodness, not in my fears. Father, in moments when I feel unseen or forgotten, help me to remember that you are the God who sees me. Just as you found Hagar in the desert and spoke to her in her loneliness, meet me in my moments of doubt. Reassure me that I am deeply loved and fully known by you. May I feel your presence beside me, comforting and guiding me, reminding me that I am never out of your sight, never beyond the reach of your love. Lord, there are seasons when I feel stuck, waiting for answers, longing for change that seems distant. In these times, I ask for patience and trust. Remind me, as you did with Joseph, that delays are not denials, and that you are working even when I can't see it. Strengthen my heart in the waiting, and let my faith grow deeper as I lean on you. Prepare me, Lord, for the blessings you have in store, and help me to trust in your perfect timing. Today I surrender my plans, my worries, and my fears to you. I choose to walk forward, knowing that you are my protector, my provider, and my peace. Let your Spirit guide my thoughts, guard my heart, and lead my steps. Thank you, Father, for being my rock and my refuge, for loving me as I am, and for always going before me. In you I find my strength, my hope and my purpose. I trust that you are already at work, bringing beauty from my challenges and victories from every trial. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings from this prayer are now upon you in Jesus' name. You have the right to be happy, and God is already at work preparing a path of peace, joy, and victory for you.
Help us reach more hearts by sharing this video with a friend or family member. And don't forget to click the like button. Subscribe to our channel, Our Father, for more videos designed to uplift your spirit and strengthen your faith. We appreciate every bit of your support, and we pray that God's blessings overflow in your life. Feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comment section. We want to stand with you, lifting your needs before God and believing together for His miracles in your life. As you share your requests, believers from around the world will join in prayer, creating a community of faith and support. Stand firm with us as we declare God's goodness over every situation. Our ministry team is grateful for every one of you who has supported us. Your generosity and prayers enable us to spread the message of hope and encouragement, reminding people of God's promises and helping them see His hand at work. Today, we invite you to declare this truth with boldness. I have the right to be happy, for God goes before me, preparing my path and filling my day with His strength. If you believe this, write it in the comments, standing with us as we proclaim His perfect care and faithfulness. May God's mighty presence calm your heart today, reminding you that His peace surpasses every worry you carry. As you wake up and enter this new day, may His presence lift every burden, easing every anxious thought. Let Him replace your stress with deep calm and your uncertainties with courage, knowing He's already going before you, preparing the way and providing for every need. May His hand guide you through each challenge, showing that even when the way seems unclear, He is working in every detail to bring you comfort and clarity. May each fear turn into trust and each doubt into a deeper faith as you move forward, confident that His help is not distant. It's a present reality, bringing peace and strength not only for you, but also shining through you to others around you.